All right, welcome back for round three with this monstrous five-color bizarre deck, whatever you want to call it. I don't even think the vintage community knows quite what to call it, to be honest. Oh no, opponent. Don't do it. Please join. Opponent. Opponent, no! No! Okay, I'm going to keep this video going for like 30 seconds, and if I don't get repaired, it's back to watching anime. Um, yeah, so uh, reiterating some of the things that I felt at the beginning of the, or sorry, at the end of the last video, um, this is kind of a bizarre or nothing deck, kind of like Dredge is, where you need this card to function, and when you don't have it, you kind of flop around and die, and I don't really like that. Okay, we did get repaired relatively quickly. All right, you're getting paired against a player who's very well known for Maverick and Legacy. I don't know what they've been playing in Vintage. Oh, excuse me. All right, let's powder this hand. Keep this hand. What's an exile? Not too much that I care about. Alright, opponent, you get to you get to see the hand. It's a good hand. But it doesn't do anything on turn one, so. Alright. It's a bit of a nuisance. <clears throat> kind of a funny play to just wasteland them. But I think I'm just going to opt to put a hollow one in play and dump multiple cards in the graveyard that they care about. Ooh, buddy. All right, so I really wanted a blue card there. That didn't happen. Keep this. Catch the third bazaar. They can have one of the Bloodgast or Squee. And then hopefully I can draw a Contamination to deal with the Death Rit Shaman. Yeah, this is Leovold, I just Caracas it. Oh, I don't get to Caracas that. And just kill it over two turns, though. I am sort of wondering if draw one, discard three is actually okay here. Because it's really only like discarding two because of Squee. So I go down one card, it would be like the equivalent of junking serum powder in the long run. Yeah, that's probably fine. Oof, oohs. All right, that resolves. Go ahead. 
That's fine. That probably keeps me from activating this bizarre Tarmogoyf is currently a 2-3, which doesn't beat Hollow One in combat. Much late, but I'm happy to have it. I'm gonna send both at Narset though. Just finish that off for sure. Don't want to let them just jump block. Alright. Activate Yield Bazaar. I'll send away we we fine with that hitting the yard and then I'll just strip mine their green source. Oh, maybe I should have just pitched the serum powder. I'm unsure if the squeeze are better than the hogax. Like I don't, I don't I haven't played this matchup. I don't know how to value that. Squeeze might be better, because then I just find like a contagion and get a huge blowout. Maybe protected by force. I thought it might have brain lock, brainstorm locked themselves. This is a very long pause. That's fine. I have another. Whoa, the aggro goy. Yet another bazaar. And away, squee, squee. Serum powder actually makes the goyf bigger, not that. Once upon a time doesn't change anything. Let's junk that. So I already played my land for turn. So let's call that good. Call that good. I don't even know if they can do anything with that mana. That might just be them removing a card from my graveyard. For Hogak based reasons.
full force of will it. opponent can now eat one of Hogak or one of the Squeeze, and then I will Wasteland their Trop, and they will stop feasting on my graveyard. Oh no! You have like an Assassin's Trophy? Slow this down, attack the drop, I think, is probably correct. But it's possible I just go ham and bizarre try to find a Ruwalla to just get a Hogak into play. That's also very strong here. But there's very little reason why I couldn't do that next turn. Yeah, there's very little reason why I couldn't do that next turn. This game's pretty interesting. I'm really enjoying this one. A good amount of counterplay. So let's go Squee, Squee, I don't really want Serum Powder in my hand, but I also don't want to discard it, so let's Junk the Cradle. Yeah. Yeah, let's junk the cradle. My opponent can drain me a couple of times with Deathrite Shaman. I'm okay if that's all they end up doing. I have strip mine. I don't have strip mine. But I have strip mine. Strip mine's in exile. I think Noxious Revival is going to protect Hogak. I don't hate that. I 
I like that. I don't have a black card for it. I'll find one next turn. Maybe I give up. This serum powder that I wanted to discard forever. This is finally the time where that happens. Oh, you want mana. through time? Oh, well, I can't force a negation that on my turn, so yeah. Is there a world where I just attack and try to close this game right now? Heal my opponent 6, put them to 4, heal them to the following turn, Noxious Revival, a hollow one back to the top of my deck. Not crazy person talk. I can, I can also just try to get a blowout on the Termogoyf next turn with Contagion. That's a really weird spot. I'm just gonna pass. I'm still pretty sure that I have a good chance at beating the Death Rite Shaman. Ooh, yep, that's good. And Noctis Revival the Bazaar, then my opponent takes the Deathrite Shaman to eat it, and then I kind of end up in the same opportunity as last turn, where I but I can rip a black card and contagion that Tarmogoyf. My Bazaar gone, I'm in a worse spot than previously. Try to put the Bazaar back on top of my deck. I don't think this works. That's not the black card I wanted. All right. It is my path to victory turning creatures sideways now? It might be. I think it is. I 
to keep this land a little punishing if my opponent plays Leobold. I need a black card <laughs> so badly. It's it's good from multiple different angles. I I could use it to remove the Deathrite Shaman. I could use it to attack in with Hollow One and then Contagion the Tarmogoyf away. Oh boy. I think I just lose on the spot if my opponent has a tabernacle. Oh, hold on, they played a land before Demo Tutoring. I'm not just Stone Cold Dead to that. But I probably don't beat it next turn. My opponent could get a Surgical or Rav Trap. I also could just get Time Walk. Time Walk kills me. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. What a slug fest. Alright. I think I like Maze of Ith or Tarmogoyf as well as just like being able to, on offense and defense, like stopping it from clocking me and also being able to attack in with multiple creatures and just maze the creature that my opponent Tarmogoyf's, Tarmogoyf blocks. I think I like Petrified Field to bring my stuff back from Wasteland. I think I like Sickening Shoal as a removal for a Tarmogoyf. Or Death Rite Shaman. So I'll be going Mind Break Traps out. I need to cut one other card. Probably can't be Serum Powder. Probably doesn't make sense. I get a Once Upon a Time. There, oh, actually. I could just cut library and bring in the other Caracas. I think I like that. Oh, it says, what a game. That was that was super fun. I had a lot of lines to play towards, even though some of them didn't pan out in terms of like having the right things at the right times in terms of card colors. Um, I have a bazaar I will keep. That's how this works. I also have the Ur Dragon, and you know I want to use that beautiful. 10 10 bad boy. It would make all my dragons cost less. But he's my only dragon. I do have a scarecrow though. Actually, is my scarecrow also a dragon? Isn't there some sort of weird. Creature type thing going on with this card. No. Alright. So I have Bazaar. Gonk. Bloodgast. 
we yeah I think cradle and pass the turn No? I think no. Fair. Dead. What a turn. I don't think I play this wasteland. Ah, the wasteland returns the bloodcast. All right, bloodcast. Nine turns. Let's go. My opponent has a basic. They can just fetch one here. Uh, basic into Deathrite Shaman is brutal. Um, I think I'm uh, probably dead. I will soldier on. But I don't really see myself beating my opponent's six card grip after they've ancestraled. I think I let them demo tutor and try to fight over whatever they demo tutor for. Because right now I can get spell pierced or equivalent. I might not be able to later. I think I have to force that. Yeah. GG's, but I I don't think I'd be I come back from this. With my bazaars gone, my deck basically does nothing and I have to try to hard cast bad creatures. I think I'm I'm comfortable throwing in the towel there. What a game one though. What a game one.